can't kill progress. Sleep. Quick, quick. Okay, so we saw that thing. Oh, neutralize the cops? I didn't even know... Interpol credentials aren't going to work with these cops. The minute they see my AUG inside their outposts, they're going to attack. If I want to free Dusan, I'll have to take them down my way, of course. Okay. I guess that's one way of doing it. I don't know how we take this guy out. Got one at the computer. Oh shit. That was real close. That works for me. Sit in your chair. Come on. No. No, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, there's right there. Wow. That is intense. I need something to throw. Nothing, didn't even make a noise. And sleep. Okay. Now, the only question I have is, how do we disable that other guy? This is so cool. How about you deal with these cops first, okay? Then we can talk. Okay. Maybe we could use that EMP ammo? That's a possibility. But I also don't know how well it works. Because we can't... We're not going to be... Oh, shit. We can't take this guy down, I'm pretty sure. Okay, he's almost done searching. How do we take this thing down, I wonder? It's tough to even see where we're... Oh, there we go. Is that it? Just one shot? Or does that just temporarily disable him? Thinking that's much more likely.
Okay, so it's temporary. How am I going to take this guy down then? Oh, we can actually take him out. What? Oh, that's awesome. Woohoo! All right. That'll work for me. That'll work for me. That makes this job a bit easier. I didn't think we could take him out in the suit. Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. Yeah, I see that. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. No. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. So, was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me? Or something else? What's his problem? I had a job to do. I have a job to do, and you're a means to getting it done, regardless of why the cops were doing what they were doing. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of ARC. That's what the My girl told is. us. I just repair things for them sometimes. Oh, yeah. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if ARC was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I'm done with them. Being associated with ARC. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look. You want to know what Ark is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit. Power. Something. <laughs> Freedom. That's funny. How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick for... Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. This week's passphrase? When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. When you rob a man Just of everything, he's no quote. longer in your power. He's if free again. If you get you past Lubos, he guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. Oh, nice. This will help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Yeah, just be careful on the way out of here. Okay, so, now, if we want to go talk to him, we just need to get that quote, and then we can get in. Or, we can get this key card. One of the cops has it. First stop, the market. So I guess we have to head in that general area. Okay, it's good to know that we can take out those heavy guys as well. Let's see if we can't... Turn this off. It'll make things a little easier for us. Battle rifle ammo? I mean... We could, we could sell it. We are going to a market after all. the only way that I can get through there. <sighs> Guess what? Over here. Okay, so now we're full. I 
I think that's fine. We have a lot to sell once we get to this market. And which ways do we have of getting there? Level 6? We're on level 2. Maybe we should head through here. There's definitely some cops, but... Doesn't seem like it's the end of the world. We could take this one down from right here. The other guy's not looking. Oh, there's somebody right across that just walked in. Be cool. Shit. They know something's up. <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I wonder if these guys, like, being right close to it kind of caused that. Oh, no! Shit. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. There must be a way out of here. This is bad. This is bad. No food. Things have gone to shit. We got smoke. Be cool. Didn't I hack this? Oh, I hacked the other one. <laughs> we may have done it. Now, I definitely need to not be here. We need to be going up those stairs. But still. Let's see what we can learn. <sighs> okay, well... That happened. What are the cops reading? Collapse of an industry, falling star, Seraph. Why are they reading about Seraph? At its height, Seraph Industries was moderately sized, then employed only about 1,500 people. Where they distinguished themselves was the creative progress, forward thinking, custom made mechanical augmentations, their strength was innovation, and it earned them the respect of the industry and the scientific community. The brainchild of founder David Seraph, uh, Seraph Industries was poised to expand the human enhancement technology market to the masses when the AUG incident occurred. It was their death knell. David Seraph himself was badly injured during the incident. His company was eviscerated, hit hard by regulatory measures, canceled contract contracts and anti-augmentation sentiment. Seraph Industries declared bankruptcy in 2028. Many of its assets were snatched up by Taiyang Medical, one of the only augmentation producing companies to survive the industry's collapse. And he did ask us that we needed to sign something for the um, for the bankruptcy because they had leased our apartment uh, under our name. And there was like a complication because we were quote unquote dead. So, okay, let's get in here. Now let's see what this reveal is. Ah, oh, that, okay, so perfect. That's how we use that then. It shows us the actual path when things are dark. Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. Okay. So smuggling crackdown. The priority must remain the prevention of items being shipped into the complex. The Augs do not need any more advantages. Particular attention must be paid to goods intended for ARC. If we can constrict their flow of neuropsine, we'll be halfway to flushing them out of the ghetto fortress. And now, our people in Prague have reason to believe that there is a shopkeeper in the Stedry markets who smuggles items both for Ark and for the Diwali's. If we can find him and shut him down, that'd be a huge blow to contraband and Udalek. Well, interesting. Okay. Fuck. Now it's gonna be hard to get out of here. We can cloak. Shit. 
<laughs> so close. I don't know the duration of our cloaking right now. I hear you. Only one way to find out. Clear. Yikes. Oh, he's right on my ass. Whew. What did I ever do to you? All right, but... Oh, no! Shit. You monster, go away! They are on alert right now. This is bad. Go away! Sleep. Right in the Tommy knockers. Hey, you guys, you didn't see shit. Oh, they fucking tattled. Mr. Jensen, this is Otar Boscovelli. I hear you are in the Uturek complex. You hear right. on me, Boscovelli. It is time for that favor you owe me. Are you serious? This there is not is a the time. There's a shopkeeper named Galwa in the Sedri Markets. I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take Fuck. care of this problem is your business. But I expect you to keep your word. This is not good. Spot now! We'll wake him out! No! Please! Oh god! Huh? We're through, we're through! This is like... I really feel the hunt right now. I wonder if we should take this other guy down. He's just watching, waiting. I can't trank them, they've got helmets on. Brett's lost, yeah it is. Waiting. Uh, is there anything that I can grab as a distraction? I don't think so. Do I see something in there? Yeah, there's something in there. It's a gun. That's sneaky. It's actually a revolver. Um, which isn't really going to help us, but... Okay, I think we're gonna need to cloak out of here. Should probably wait for shit to cool off, but... Oh, man. This is intense. The hunt is real. Jeez, what's it gonna take? We do get the really slow recharge, but... Two cops here? I'm not even sure... We just need to keep going up. 
More stairs over there. Okay, the search is happening now. Fuck. He stands out, even here. Please, God, save me. Everybody be cool. Quit panicking. My God. There's a cop over there. <laughs> this is so close. Please do not hurt me. There we go. Should be clear. That was a hell of a lot closer than it should have been. I don't think we've had an encounter come up that close yet. Okay, so we have the passphrase. We don't really need the key card. Um... So I was very grateful. He told me the passphrase that Ark is using this week and suggested I mention it to a man named Lubos. Find him watching an elevator on the first floor of the market. Wait, so... We just have this guy. Peebor told me about a local merchant named Luis Galvan who smuggles items into Ark for Rucker. If I talk to him, I might be able to convince him to smuggle me in. His shop is on the second floor. So, we're in. I don't even know if we need to do these other ones. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today. Yeah, I hear ya. Unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galwa? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend <laughs> me? Uh-oh. Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? Oh, I see. What do you know about the Diwalis? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Drug son of a Yeah, bitch. he knows him. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. Uh-huh. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, oh, Radic, Radic Nikolazzi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. Oh. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. Definitely I'm could sure be. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still. Getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? No, I'm not, but... No, I draw the line of assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Anything? Vaclav Kolar. What's his connection to Radic? 
wait, I can't tell you that. Radich will kill me. You said anything. You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Radich, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radich has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. Oh, okay. So, I get Radich his neuropazine, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radich looks out That's for why. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Oh well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more <laughs> credible. Galois. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. Yeah, I also all want right, you to thanks. take all this extra Is shit there off me. Any other way I can be of service? Yes. Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and kind contribute of. to the Louis Galois escape fund. Yeah, something like that. Let's see what you've got for sale. Of course. Please take a look. So I guess I could have bypassed all that security by finding that elevator or by getting that key card. A lot of ways of uh, of going about it. So he just sells weapons and ammunition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell the shotgun. We'll sell a bunch of our ammo. Ammo nets us quite a bit, actually. What else do we have? Uh, we've got the micro pumps. We've got typhoon ammo, which I don't think we actually need. Shotgun ammo can go. Tranks will keep. Stun gun we keep. I think we stored stun gun ammo in our apartment, if I'm not mistaken. The pistol with the EMP rounds we're going to keep. Neuropazine we're going to keep. EMP grenades, all this stuff we are going to keep. So, this works. Good transaction, I suppose. Are you certain? Yeah, I'm good. I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I don't know what I'm going to tell Otar. What else would you expect? Machiavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalite complex has been taken care of. Good. Uh oh. I look forward to hearing the details, but that will have to wait because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. I will call you back shortly. Oh look, he's got rifles in here. Damn. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, can we not actually go through? Oh, we can. Talk to him. Get the items to Ark for Rucker. Get rid of him. I agreed to do a favor for him. Now the cunning bastard wants to cash in. He's just gonna... So, he's just gonna leave. Get a new identity. Before he does, of course, he tries to sell his stuff. It's fine. I'll accept that. Jensen. Getting lonely up here. Got an update for me. Yeah. I discovered that favors are like currency in Gollum City. Seriously? We're back on track. Oh. I'm heading for an area called The Throat now. Should take me straight into Ark territory. Good. I'll update Miller and do a flyby up ahead. Get you the lay of the land. Copy that. Okay, we have a, a couple of neuropathy now. I'm gonna go right back and sell these... This new weapon that we just got. Welcome back. Are you here to make a purchase? Money will certainly be useful <laughs> when I'm running for my life. Yeah, I believe that. Mutually Let's beneficial then. For sale. Of course. Please take a look. It's too bad we're taking his money, we're not actually buying anything. It'd be kind of interesting if he would only sell us stuff in this specific scenario. But it doesn't really seem like that's the case. Are you certain? Yeah, we're good. I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. 
but I hope to see you again. So we have quite a few crafting no parts port, as well. Chance. If we need to, we can always buy, uh, or craft, I should say. Well, speaking of. We can always craft some uh, biochips or multi-tools. I think we're out. Victor, we got one. Or in. Patrolling the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Look at this guy. Now, Whoa. Let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off. Even if you... Not good. Should have tried cutting the blue wire. <laughs> if only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. I didn't. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko. He is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Yeah, please do. I'm not going to turn him down right now. Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the throat. So I've heard. And sometimes those get cut. Yes. When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Shlupatia pricks are ever Shlupatia. Breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. I mean... Yeah, I'm really not into... Yeah, we can sidestep that. I'm not looking to get in the middle of that. Oh, you think you will be a good little wrench and come through untouched, yes? He has eyes, but he cannot see. It's not my fight. It will be. One day soon. But for you, I think understanding will come too late. And then, no amount of fleshy hardware is going to keep you alive. You will end up spare parts in some harvester yard. Meat on a butcher block. But not you. You're gonna go down swinging. Take them all with you. We won't be the ones who fall, brother. What you're talking about? That's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong, intelligent, principled. You could learn a lot from him. Well, introduce me. <laughs> hmm. I admit he's got a way about him. He talks and people listen. But is that enough? He is no politician, if that is what you mean. Rucker gave up an easy life for our cause. He lives the struggle, just like the rest of us. I wonder if that's true. I respect anyone with principles. But in my experience, that doesn't get you much when the storm comes down. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, 
I gotta tell you, it sucked. That's the way I see it, <laughs> after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. It is that way. For now. Until then. Sergey! Be careful in there, Shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's not intimidating. We'll be seeing you. Can't wait. Chicane, patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. Whoops. But I need you to run a name through my mic. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. Okay. So, uh, we've come a long way here. Now, it appears that we're just trying to get into this Ark territory through this place called The Throat. Um, obviously, it's not really inviting. And it's probably not going to be easy but we've managed pretty well so far we had a little run in with the cops there uh but we handled them as well and actually the recent investment in our um cloaking was pretty much a godsend okay this place is like loaded up I'll take it Okay, but yeah, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, uh, we're going to try and head through the throat, I guess. See where that leads us. I don't know. I guess we could have probably fought that guy, maybe? Is that a viable way of dealing with him? I'm guessing it is. If we just threaten him right at the beginning. But, uh, yeah, it worked. So, okay, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.